Alright guys, welcome back to another YouTube video and today what we're going to be showing you how to do is to build the biggest fusion reactor you can. You can connect this to pretty much an infinite number of turbines and today I'm going to show you how to do it. This is the tennis one, here's the tutorial. <laughs> Alright guys, so to start off this video we're just going to place down our fusion reactor light. So I'm going to go through this fairly fast, so you may want to watch different bits at different times if you want to watch each uh, section in more detail. So we're going to start building our basic fusion reactor with our normal electromagnets around the outside of this. And then we're going to put them around the outside like this as well. You don't have to have the corner ones if you don't want to, but I like having them in anyway. Because I think they like uh, make it look a bit nicer. So there we go, that's that bit done. And then we're going to do the top ring in electromagnetic glass and the bottom ring in this glass as well. So that's that. And then we're going to do the bottom. I've done this a bit off the ground just so that we can see what's going on underneath because we will need to put some universal cable into the bottom here like this. Then we're just going to run this cable out. That's going to be connected up to a uh, cube and we're also going to have our ME stuff sitting at the bottom here too. We're not going to need those again. And then we're just going to need to grab ourselves the ME cable and the basic export bus. Now we just need to connect this up to the top. We bring this along. I'm going to show this, uh, you how to make this fully automated, well not fully automated because we're not uh, at the moment producing our tin to remake the deuterium and stuff, but it's going to be fairly automated itself, so pretty decent. That goes in there, that goes in there, then we just need to grab ourselves some deuterium. Oh, that's not how you spell deuterium. There it is. Then we also need to grab ourselves um, an ME storage not storage, uh, like 4k one, we don't need a big one. Um, and then we just need to whack deuterium in there, and then down here we need to hit the that in there, and then we just need a power source, so we have to take our ultimate cube there, and then we're going to break this because we don't want it charging that at the moment, then we're just going to whack our deuterium into this. Okay, so now we've got that ready and done, we're going to start uh, going around the edges. I'm going to use some green wool, just because that's quite nice. Maybe I'll use some different colour wool, actually. What sort of wool should we use? I think I'm going to use a pink wool. There's some pink wool. We're going to go around the edge here in the pink wool. This is just to keep the water in, because we don't want the water flowing out all over the place, because otherwise it will make a terrible mess, and we don't want that. Sorry if the render distance is a bit small. If uh, you're bothered by that, please leave a comment, I can upgrade it, but I, the frame rate's dropped by about 10, and I think that an 80 frames per second frame rate isn't as nice as like a 90 or 100, which is what I'm getting now. So now we're going to fill this middle bit with some water, like this, and we're going to fill this out a bit with water as well. Like so. And then just because we want to get some extra steam, um, we will uh, put some more water down in a second. So the steam funnels are made quite simply with some iron and stuff, so they're quite cheap. It's worthwhile getting them though, and they are essential to making the biggest reactor that you can make. So you're gonna to need to whack them around the edges. These corner ones don't actually produce steam, but again, I think the design looks a lot nicer if you keep those in there. So do do that. And then again, we're gonna to need to go over this water source in the middle uh, with the steam as well. And then to maximise our steam output, we're going to need to fill this middle ring here with water as well, because this is going to produce some steam too. So again, let's get our steam funnels go over the top of this water. And bam, like so. Oh, that's not good. Like that. Okay, so now what we need to do is go and get ourselves some mechanical pipe. This is very important because it will allow us to take the steam out of this, like this, it's coming out, and then we need to run it round the edges of this as well. You need to make sure that every single one of these is connected up. Like so. So now everything is connected to this one output here. 
Now the one thing that everyone forgets to do when they're doing stuff like this is they forget to use this nice gadget here called a configurator. You need to make sure that it's on the mode modify because that's uh, very important, that's what you need. And then when you come over to just these pipes around the, around the middle and the edges, not these ones here, you need to shift and right click and you should see that the red bit there has changed, uh, or the, the bit that's grey has changed to red. And that tells us that that pipe is going to be taking steam out of the block next to it. And that's pretty much essential to this because the biggest mistake people make is not doing this and then it won't take any steam out of it at all. Make sure that you get these ones as well. If you stand at the right angle, you should be able to see that it's like that. So there we go, I've got all the ones around the outside. Now we're gonna do the ones on the inside as well. Like so, that's all done. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're just gonna to need to grab our cable again, or pipe even, and bring the pipe along. And then we're just gonna grab our turbines. And we're going to start making some turbines. And you're going to want to make sure that the um, pipe is going into the bottom of each of these turbines. In fact, actually, you can put them right next to each other, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make these into big turbines, so I will be back once I've placed a lot of them down. Be right back. Okay, guys, so now that I've placed down a lot of turbines, you can see here that on the end I've wrenched the middle of them so that I've made them themselves into these big ones. I'm just going to do that quickly with the rest of these. And you can see here that on the bottom it's connected to the middle of the turbine. You have to make sure that it is connected to the middle of it because that's where the steam is going to be supplied. Um, if you count this up, I can't remember how many turbines it actually is. Um, how many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 3, so we've got 18 times 9, so we've got good uh, over a hundred turbines there which is pretty decent um, now you're just going to need to connect up your cables here so that it's all output into the same thing make sure not to make any infinite power loops here because otherwise you will begin to lose some power which is not what we want so now we can bring this cable down here to the bottom and we can come along I'm going to make this very long. It's very um, expanded actually, just for the purposes of making a video. So, don't judge. It is just for the purposes of making a video. I wouldn't actually have it arranged like that in my base. I don't think I'd have it a bit more compact. But for the purposes of the video, that shows quite well. Remember to make sure that the cable is coming out of the top of the turbine and the steam is going into the bottom. You don't need to configure any of these side ones at all. It will just pump it straight in. So again, make sure that you've got your deuterium in the middle there. You can see here that since we've actually powered it up, it's pumped the deuterium into the centre. We just need a basic uh, one for that. And make sure that it's all connected up to your thing and it's all got power. So now if I um, do some final checks, just to make sure everything's right. Um, we've got, this is all connected, we haven't got any gaps. I don't think we've got any gaps. Um, we should be able to whack this cable down and it should start generating plasma. There we go, plasma. And we should be able to hear it generating steam. Yep, you can see the middle there that it's all going. And now, you can see now that every single one of these turbines is spinning around. And in fact, that's only, it's only just started as well, so it hasn't actually generated that much steam as of yet. Um, but yes, let's um, grab an ultimate energy cube actually. A fresh one. It's empty. You grab an empty ultimate energy cube. We should be able to break this now whack it down and there's the generation of power um, I will say that you can actually make this almost infinitely large I think as as many as I can be bothered to place down with um, the spare time I do have it hasn't ever run out of steam so uh, again 18 times 9 um, that's uh, over over a hundred um, them in turbines there so in fact, that's what, 171. Oh, max? Hang on, wait. No, that's not right. Yeah, it is. Don't worry. No, ignore me. It's not right. It's 162. No, maths isn't my thing, so ignore me there. Um, I think it's 162. 162 turbines sounds about right. I'm going to go with that. 162 turbines we've got sitting here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, so 
Here's all the state. In fact, that's bugging me. I'll be back in a second. As a matter of fact, I was right. It is 162. Oh well, so there we go. That's our power generation in that brief time that I was away. It has generated 78 megajoules of power. I was only away for about three seconds while I googled it, and that's insane. So there we go. You can see 88, 89, 90. That power generation is huge. And in fact, actually, if we take this out, take all of the deuterium out. I want to see how long it lasts how much it charges on 64 deuterium. So 64 deuterium in there is powering. We have 64 deuterium still in there. Um, 64. I want to see how much it has when it goes down to 63. Come on. 63. Right. It's in one deuterium it's generated 17 megajoules of power. Um, 62. And that will start going down but it lasts for a very long time and deuterium is very cheap to make as well. So thank you very much for watching guys, that has been my tutorial on making a large fusion reactor, that's just how I do it. You may find other designs on YouTube if you want, um, but this is a huge amount of power um, and it all works. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Um, check out Oblivion Vaults in the description below, I'm playing on there at the moment, I've made this video for some uh, for a guy called Nether Foam. Yep, shout out to you. Alright, see you next time, guys. There'll be a Let's Play in the future as well, too. So, see you in a bit. Bye bye.